chim chim mommy, chim chim mommy, chim chim Charlie. Uh, my name is Blake, and I'm playing Bert in this Mary Poppins production. Uh, there's a reason this is my favorite show of all time. Um, I think for me though, the best part is just being able to like be eccentric and kind of throw parts of my own personality and to kind of mix with like what the director's vision of the show was to create like kind of a personalized version of Bert. What about your measurement, Mary Poppins? I'm practically perfect in every way. Practically perfect, so people say. I think Mary and shows people how to make others feel seen, heard, loved, and supported, and that's what this show really means to us and why it is so magical. I'm Amanda and I play Mary Poppins. I love that she is practically perfect and I am not and that she has quips and she always knows what to say and it's it's just so fun. Super califratalistic expiratiposhas, even though the sound of it is so Alright, I love the lights because we can go from very boring from the bank to super bright in the park and super cal and you can light up the whole stage and I think it adds a whole bunch to the show. I love just playing off of you and I think we have great banter and the, I think the energy is there and um, it's just a blast. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's magical. Like, there's, it's the show is magical. I truly do believe the magic transcends just the performance. My life was calm, well ordered, exemplary, until this person came with chaos in her way. But at the end of the day, you know, we get to watch these adults, Mr. and Mrs. Banks, find what fun is again in their families. And I think we've been able to do that a lot with, with the families in our shows. There are so many families that we've brought into the show. And even, you know, families who are watching their kids and seeing fun and that childhood joy through their own children is just something we want the audience to take away with, with Mary Poppins. What is this? What is all this? And it's been awesome to, to get to work with so many new people and to get to bring so many people into the Pride Lake Players organization um, and to get to see people people who are stepping on stage for the first time. It's very fun. I love the feed I love Feed the Birds. It is I cry every time. And especially because Nicole is never done theater before. It was, we kind of had to convince her to do it, um, but she has really just taken that part and done, an ama and done amazing with it. And that's really where you see that change from, you know, these kind of bratty kids and you, you see that change of that's where that's, this kindness comes from because the smallest act of kindness um, can make the biggest impact and it's really that turning point in the story. Good night, Daddy. You do love me, you know. We, we've been friends for over 10 years now and we've worked together on a number of other shows both on stage and on the production side and so it's just a continuation of the work that we've been doing together. What's it like working with a, a 65 people in cast? Kind of crazy but also it makes the magic happen. See? Like I don't think we'd be able to do this without 60 people which is crazy. It's been a challenge. I think this is probably the biggest show that we have done together and I think it's just been, it's presented a lot of really unique opportunities for growth um, and challenges but it's also brought out an incredible support system that we didn't know that we had. Over the rooftop stepping time. I hope that they get that, that spark I guess again. I, I hope that they, they leave with a sense of happiness and a childlike wonder.